descended from the same family tree as Lancelot Link, Curious George, and the Space Monkeys of Yore. A simple family rock band has dared to go where no band has gone before. In these pandemic times, we need Secret Monkey Weekend now more than ever. So without any further ado, settle into your favorite chair, call your neighbors, because it's time for the Secret Monkey Quarantine Half Hour Show. Welcome back to another episode of the Secret Monkey Quarantine F Hour Show. Today we have Tom Collins Meltzer and Emma Davis and her daughters Molly and Abby. And, <laughs> and we also have a short film by me and I want my daddy's record, so please enjoy. Well now join the following program already in progress. Raise your right paw, your right hoof, your right tentacle, whatever you might have. I shall sing no song that is not a secret monkey song. I shall make no record that is not a secret monkey record. I refuse to be known as anything but a secret monkey singer. I am proud to be associated with the secret monkey music. Secret monkey music and secret monkey fans made me what I am today and I shall not forget it. Secret Monkey Weekend, thanks for coming out. Southern culture on skids. Let's try it again. And now, a new video from Southern culture on the skids. No, you're supposed to do it together. I was uh, sorry. And now, a new video from Southern, Southern culture, culture on the skids. <laughs> It was 
short film by Lila. Hey, what up? I'm Chad, and I'm really excited to go down to the site. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, so I'm ready. Hey, what up? I'm Chad. I'm 23, newly single. Um, I'm really interested in paleontology, so I'm really excited to go down. Let's go. Hey, I'm a professional, and here's what you need for paleontology. First off, you need your shovel. This will be really important. You gotta dig. Next up, you have this you can like wipe dirt off stuff it'll come in handy then cut your vaseline this will be really useful later um okay now let's get digging boys okay we're going down lads I don't know anything about the dirt. I just, I just dig. Okay, we have some dirt. It's very interesting. Um. Okay. Lads, I think we've got something. Okay, lads, I found this bone. And we're gonna learn about it. <laughs> And right here, boys, I am just sweeping the dirt off the bone. Okay, so this bone here, I think it's a, I think it's a femur, and I don't know a lot about that, but I just, I'm so glad I found this bone. It, I think it's my greatest accomplishment. So, um, I just think this is a really important discovery, and, um... 
Yeah, it's so. Well, boys, it's amazing. I really, I really didn't expect to find something so cool. It's just the biggest thing I've ever done. So, yeah. Bye. And now a word from our sponsors. We have a few new sponsors we'd like to introduce today. Girls? Okay. One of our first sponsors is Mr. Chippy's Monkey Chow and Flea Powder from the Mr. Chippy's fine family of products. And Hope Valley Nervous Hospital. Good medicine for trying times. And we also have Ernie's Mortuary and Taxidermy Service since 1948, serving your family's memorial and fishing trophy needs. Remember those fish and trophies we saw down at uh, Grandma's house a while back? Yeah. Yeah, they look so peaceful. Yeah, they looked very natural, like they were sleeping. He does a great job. I think people always come away satisfied from Ernie's. All right. Thank you, Ernie. And also now, a song by Tom Collins Meltzer. We'd like to welcome Tom Collins Meltzer to the Secret Monkey Quarantine Half Hour Show. Big round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, sir. So, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with you, obviously, and I think the girls are too. I would like you to introduce yourself and tell the people who you are. Okay, I'm uh, Tom Collins Meltzer. Uh, I, I, uh, let's see, what would you know me for? I used to be in a band called Five Chinese Brothers. We put out four CDs and toured a bunch. Uh, we were kind of alt country before there was such a thing as alt country. We, I think they called it Americana or Roots Rock back then or whatever right. it was. It also didn't sell back then either. And eventually we just uh, hung it up. And then uh, for a while, um, then I moved to North Carolina. I played in some bands with uh, you, Jeff, 
yeah. uh, frosted sugar bombs, melts her heart. And now yeah. I'm just a writer who plays music for fun. So. Yeah. And I guess most recently you've been with the Nashville Villifiers. That's right. It's so now that the girls are all in the same frame, let's uh, hear some uh, question from Lila and then a question from Ella, and then I'll ask one. Okay. Well, my question is just, how's your quarantine going, and what have you been up to? Have you been doing anything productive, or have you just been chilling? You know, I work all day, and what I've been doing lately to uh, try to make it interesting is uh, posting a song every night or almost every night on Facebook. So I did a series of songs that were uh, old country songs that maybe people didn't know because uh, they weren't you know, top 10 hits or anything, but songs that I love. And now I, I did about 30 of those and then I sort of ran out of things to, to play. Mm -hmm. Took a little break and now I'm doing my favorite songs uh, from the 70s. Mm -hmm. So the most recent one I did was I did a bluegrass version of Sometimes When We Touch, which is <laughs> a really schlocky uh, uh, romantic ballad. Well, I was afraid to actually click on that one because I know the song, but when I finally did, I was pleasantly surprised. You, you really improved the song. <laughs> Ella, what do you got? Oh, well, it's kind of related now that I think about it. What music have you uh, listened to for the first time in quarantine, if any? For the first time? I've been trying to hear some of the newer stuff, because uh, I'm really bad at keeping up. So like last night I heard Billy, Eilish, is that her name on yeah. uh, the convention? I was like, okay, try to check her out. And uh, I listened, I've been listening to the new Taylor Swift album. I, I like her. Um, but mostly I listen to the same old records I've been listening to since I was a kid over and over and over again. Well, I can identify with that. Of course, with the girls, I hear some things I wouldn't ordinarily hear. Um, Lila's been on a glee click. Uh, 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 a kick lately and I told her that, you know I don't mind seeing the songs I just don't like the characters on the show very much <laughs> you know you mentioned your first band or at least the first band that started playing out beyond maybe New York and that was five Chinese brothers and you had a reunion um in March of last year is that right that's right that's right you yeah. were there yeah yeah which was not planned. I, I just happened to be in New York and uh, it was in that great townhouse and near yeah. Columbia. Um, and you saw what now will definitely be the penultimate five Chinese brothers uh, performance. Yeah. I, I said after the last show, we'd probably never play again because the last show went so well. Yeah. And, um, but then Steve has passed away. So that yeah. Much well, we were very sad to hear that. And that was my first time meeting him. I had met, a couple of the other guys over time and um but anyway it was a fine show and really, really enjoyed it It was a great way to i think it was maybe our last night there in town so anyway i was glad to, i could see it and uh i can see what all the excitement was about thank you yeah it was it was a it was it was a great band and a great time in my life yeah yeah but it's nice to connect with you uh, this is the first time i think we've actually had a conversation in a while other than maybe I don't even think we had a phone call. Maybe we can do that sometime too. Yeah, yeah. Or let's get together and socially have a socially distant beer. I like that. I like that. Um, I, anyway, I'm 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 honored to be on the program. I'm a big fan. You girls, uh, I, I love your playing, oh, and you. uh, I look forward to hearing a lot more from you guys. Great. Well, Tom, thanks for being with us. Uh, we're having fun doing this, and you were definitely a natural. All right. Have a good week, and we'll see you soon. All right. Take care. Bye. So here we are with another episode of... Oh, my dad is back. All right, can anybody tell me what this is? Yeah, I didn't. It says... Flaming Groovies. Oh, Flaming Groovies. Wait a minute, you saw the spine, didn't you? Yeah. That's cheating. Yeah, this is the Teenage Head record. I like this one a lot. Um, you know, um, on another album, I, uh, I think I sent you the chords to Shake Some Action, which is one of their... Well, that probably is their biggest song, but I really, really do like several of these um, mm -hmm. tunes. I'm trying to get them all focused here. And we do uh, Jumpin' Jack Flash pretty much the way they do it, too. Yep. We play it live. All right? 
the birds. That has to be yours. Yep, this is, um, I think this is the Greatest Hits Volume 2. Uh, this is the sort of the country rock version of their Greatest Hits, the Clamps White version of the band. Ooh, the cow sim. Yours. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't get this, uh, I got this not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. I think I must have seen it in a, a record store, a used store. But it's a great, great record. They're a truly fun band. And this, this might have been their last album before their, I guess, their breakup. Um, mm -hmm. This is a beach music compilation. Is it yours? Drive. It is. I think I bought this at a, I think I bought it when it was new. Just some good stuff. Girl Watchers, that's, uh, I think that band was from Wilson, North Carolina. But anyway, this stuff was all over the radio when I was a kid. Oh, uh, Barracuda, right? I don't know what's on here. Um, it's not mine, so let's see what's on there. Yeah, you're right. Barracuda's on there. Uh, gosh, I only really know the radio hit, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Is this... Um... I It could very easily be Dad's. Okay. Roger Williams' greatest hits. Do you know what this guy's known for <clears throat> that applies to what you are familiar with? Uh, I'm pretty sure he, he did the um, um, Star Wars theme. Wow. That's John Williams. Oh, really? Oh. Who's Roger Williams? <laughs> I don't know. Some <laughs> schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Williams. Oh, he's a pianist. Okay. Really? Are you sure it's John Williams? I'm sure. Okay. Well, I I'll, bet my life on it. We'll go look this up. Oh, well. I don't know who that is. Volume 3. What was that? What volume was that? That was... Volume two. Okay, so we got volume three of Ocean Drive. I gotta say, I really like this stuff. Um, the Tams, Joe Turner, The Temptations, The Drifters, Bill Deal and the Rondells, Jackie Wilson. This stuff was big when I was in college, too. Desert Rose Band. Um, this is mine. I bought this one not too long ago, actually. I think I might have gotten it on Discogs or something. And, uh, Chris Hillman from the Birds, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, John Jorgensen, guitar player. Really good guy. R.E.M. Yep. Wow. This is from 84. This is their first LP, and I got it when it came out. I've got a lot of friends who have these signed because they knew the band back then, but I never really knew them. I have played a show with uh, Mike Mills where he mm -hmm. was on bass and the Big Star Tribute. But uh, Chris Stamey. I like this album a lot. It might be my favorite Chris Stamey album. And that, yeah, he signed that. I, I played with him around, eh, what, 93, 94, 95. And he signed it. But this is such a sweet album. Love the song Carolee. Um, 27 Years in a Single Day. Just a sweet record. Big time. Love it all. Kate Taylor. Anybody know who that is? No. no. James it's his Taylor? sister. It's his sister. James's ah. sister. I think she might be older. I can't remember. She good? Yeah, she's not bad. And she's still out, you know, making music today. <gasps> oh my god. Ooh. We've hit rock bottom. And this is whose copy? Uh well, it was dad's, but I claim it as mine now because right. everybody hates this movie, but it's a childhood favorite of yeah. mine. Yeah. I think even Sean Lennon said he likes the movie and the soundtrack. But I have to say there's not much on there I truly like. Uh, I think uh, Get Back was pretty good with Billy Preston, and there was something else, um, Earth, Wind, and Fire, I can't remember what, Got to Get You in My Life, yeah. I think I've seen this movie. Yeah, I, I, you know, I might, I might have to see it again, but I just remember, I saw it in the theater and just came away. Mm. It's a kid's movie, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it was, it just seemed like a, a high school play or something. <laughs> wasn't particularly that good. All right, that's all for this week. And now, a song by Emma Davis and her daughters, Abby and Molly. She walked down to the Wash away your doubts and fears Oh, one rag and some soap to cleanse the stains They could only rub away your tears
We'd like to welcome Emma Davis and her daughters Molly and Abby to the Secret Monkey Quarantine Half Hour Show. Hey, welcome! Yay. Yay! Thank you for having us. Of course. Uh, our pleasure. Hey, I'm Emma Davis, and I am out here in Selma at my BFF Cheryl's house, and just so glad, so glad to be on the show, you guys. I'm a big fan of Secret Monkey Weekend. And I sing and have been singing um, in band since, uh, well, a long time. <laughs> so she was 12. Yeah. So I love music and I love keeping music in the family. And with that, I want to introduce my daughters. Go ahead, Molly. Um, hello, I'm Molly. I'm a sophomore in high school. Um, I've been singing pretty much since I can remember because I grew up in the Davis family. And uh, I'm excited to be here. Hello, I'm you. Abby. I've been singing since I came out of the womb. And um, yeah, good times. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to um, hear the questions and stuff. Thanks for having us. Great. Right. So um, my question is, what have you guys been up to in quarantine? Anything interesting? Or have you just been mostly chilling? Or um, we've been mostly chilling. We have like a couple friends that we have that are allowed to come over because, uh, you know, I think we have two friends each, like a two friend rule. And so we've been like occasionally hanging out with them, you know, but mostly just been chilling and binge watching Netflix. Um, Molly and I got really deep into Marvel. Yes. Over quarantine. Yes, we have. We've been watching so lots of Marvel That's movies. That's been cool. And we also love the soundtrack too. Um, I've been learning bass over quarantine and that's been really, really cool. Yeah. I got a bass for my birthday and I had to get a short scale because my fingers are so tiny, but um, I've been trying. I've been learning like a lot of Tim and Paula songs. So, yeah. I can't wait to see you on bass. You rock on guitar, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Ella? Well, yeah, I, you kind of answered my question. I was going to say, besides singing, are there any instruments you play? But uh, uh, I can play the piano, but that's pretty much it. Abby can play basically any instrument she puts her hands on. <laughs> um, I'm kid. Yeah. I was just thinking that this they're is cute. the second time we've had a family band in the on the show. We had the Velt, which are uh, a couple of brothers, Danny and Daniel. And, but this is the first time we've had mother and daughter, so you've got the distinction. Um, maybe we'll, uh, we'll bake you a pie and send it over or something. That would be, <laughs> we love pie. That'd you should lovely. mail me one to Boston. <laughs> You're the at Boston Berkeley, is that right? you, You'll be at Berkeley next semester? Uh, yeah, I'm moving in like 12 days to oh, go wow. back. I'm excited. 
but it's all but um, I think I first met you, at least in my mind, at that little bar called Kasim's on Hillsborough Street. Th that sound right? What, when I met you? Yeah. The first okay. time I remember meeting you was at the cave in Chapel Hill. Wow. You were okay. playing with the ruins. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was roughly the same era because yes. we had sort of a residency at Kasim's and that was our first year. So I imagine we probably did play the cave. I'm guessing you might have been with Danielle, right? Yeah, because I used to sing telegrams at Monkey Business. Oh, and there Danielle, we go. <laughs> and Danielle worked there. And then also Bob Davis, yeah. Bob Zilla was our yep. manager. <laughs> well, tell me, um, Emma, what, um, tell me about the song that you, you sent me. Um, it was a recording, oh. I think, on your back deck or back porch. Yeah, that was me and the girls doing the seed. So that's a big Mama E and the cool song. So I wrote the lyrics but it, the music was written, you know, by the, and arranged by the band, mm -hmm. which is um, Dan, my husband on drums, Ollie Roberts, Ken Wigan, and Mike Edwards. But The Seed um, is a song that I just thought, um, the girls know some of our music and they really like some of it and some of it they're like, eh. But yeah. I just thought that was a good one for us to do together. Yeah, and we wanted to. I wanted to do something with the girls because you guys were a family band. So I wanted yeah. to uh, mirror She's back. Liar! We special. love all of them. She's lying. We like all of them. Well, anyway, we just wanted to tell you how happy we we were that you agreed to be on the show with us, and uh, it's like a mini, small, tiny Fish and Creek reunion online. Yes, yeah. it is. And uh, feeling the love. Anyway, it's really a pleasure to catch up with you. Please. It is. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. Everybody have a good evening and we will see you on the internet soon. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. Bye, Thank guys. You. Bye bye. Thanks for having bye, us. Bye, girls. Thank you. Bye. That's all for this week's show. Next week, we'll have John Howie Jr. and Dan Baird. See you then. No. <laughs>